breastfeeding your small baby. Most small babies take many weeks to develop the skills and strength to effectively breastfeed. This video will show ways you can meet the special challenges of breastfeeding your small baby. To understand the challenges, let's compare a full-term baby at the breast. His head is supported by strong neck muscles, his mouth is big enough to attach at the breast, and he suckles and swallows vigorously, getting plenty of milk. The small baby, by contrast, appears weaker. He's unable to control his head movements, and his small mouth makes it difficult for him to attach. He's not yet able to suckle and swallow, so he really gets no milk from the breast. And he tires easily. Here are some ways that will help you be successful in breastfeeding your small baby. First, hold your baby naked on your bare chest right from birth. Her closeness to your breast stimulates her feeding instincts. And if she is able, she may attach more quickly. Learn how to express your milk in the first hour after birth. Your small baby will likely need to take your milk by feeding tube or cup at first. Expressing frequently and early on is vital to building up a plentiful supply of milk. Your baby will not need to work as hard breastfeeding if your abundant milk flows easily. This will allow your baby to get all the milk she needs despite her weaker jaw muscles. Feed your baby whenever she signals her hunger. Her signals may be subtle at first. She may awaken, move her lips, and eventually open her mouth. As she matures though, her signals will become more obvious. Feed your baby often, every two to three hours, day and night. And if she stays asleep beyond three hours, gently wake her up to feed. Give your baby time at your breast. Before each feed, put your baby to your breast, rub your nipple back and forth and express a few drops of milk onto your baby's lips. She'll breastfeed sooner if she has the chance to become familiar with your breast. Hold your baby in ways that support her body as she learns to feed. A traditional cradle hold, which you have probably seen and so will naturally try, is not best for your small baby. Your baby's head, which should be held securely in the bend of your arm, tends to move about and is not supported well for good feeding. Instead, try positions that support your baby's head and body. In this first position, you simply lie back. Your baby lies on top. Your body supports her whole body. This position calms her, stimulates her feeding instincts, and can help her attach more deeply. The next position, often called the cross cradle, supports your baby's head well. Hold your baby close to you, with her body lying along your arm, your hands support your baby's neck and head. Bring her to your breast, facing you, your baby's belly touching your belly, with her ear, shoulder and hip in a line. Well supported, your baby attaches at your breast.
the underarm hold is also helpful for your small baby. Position your baby along your side, tucked under your arm, holding her head in the palm of your hand. When your baby's mouth opens, pull her into a touch at your breast. This position gives you a good view of your baby's attachment. To support your baby's head while she's feeding, try this hold. Cup your breast underneath with your thumb and first finger free to support your baby's head and neck. Her jaw rests in the sling between your thumb and first finger. If your baby is having difficulty attaching effectively, try shaping your breast in line with your baby's mouth. This allows your breast to fit into your baby's small mouth more easily and helps her attach more deeply. Now, to attach your baby, rub your nipple on her lips, then drip milk into her mouth. Be patient. When she opens wide, bring her directly onto your breast. Though your baby's mouth is naturally smaller, she is still well attached. Her mouth is wide open, her chin touches your breast, and her cheeks around it. More areola is seen above your baby's mouth than below. Your baby is drinking well. Notice how her jaw drops and there's a brief pause as she swallows. She is now able to coordinate sucking, swallowing and breathing. As your baby matures, her sucks will gradually become stronger and more regular. Her attachment will be deeper and she will have the stamina for a full feed. You may hear swallowing and your breast may feel softer after a feed. When your baby's drinking slows down, compress your breast to increase the volume of milk and keep your baby interested and actively suckling. Compress and hold as your baby suckles. Then ease up when she rests. Give your baby short rests during feeding. It's hard work for your small baby. Then switch to the other breast to see if your baby is still hungry. Gradually increase breastfeeding with less and less supplementation. As a guide, if your baby does not attach well at the breast, give the full volume of milk by feeding tube or cup. If she attaches well, but has frequent long pauses or feeds for less than 10 minutes, give half the volume. Your baby no longer needs extra feeding if she feeds well by breast for more than 15 minutes at each feed and she's gaining weight, is content between feeds and has frequent yellow stools, four or more each day. At this point, you can very gradually reduce the number of times you express. As do many mothers of small babies, you may become frustrated and even discouraged over the length of time it takes your baby to learn to breastfeed. Seek out support and feeding guidance from your health worker or a knowledgeable mother. This is important. Know that as your baby grows and develops, her strength will improve 
and she will become more efficient at feeding. Remember, continuous skin-to-skin -skin contact helps your small baby establish breastfeeding sooner. Support your baby's body as she learns to breastfeed with lying back, cross cradle, and underarm positions. Seek out support. Your baby's ability to attach well will improve as she grows and matures.